TV show. If it is your first time of coming across my YouTube channel and you like this program, please subscribe, put on your notification bell so that you'll be able to know when I upload a new video. Like you all may know, also people are asking me, Linda, where are you reporting from? I am reporting from Stuttgart, Germany. Like you can see, I am in the no, right now it's really chill. That is why you need to leave your comments constructively after watching each of my videos because it is not easy. It's really cold, man. I understand this, and they will stop and be watching you. They won't move anymore. Yeah, Waroka, I'm trying to explain something here. Our people, APC was counting on the boycott. to rig the election in such a way that Atiku and Dobi could not contest it. Understand this. And the blackmail came that we are doing this thing for selfish reasons. Our elders kept calling me one after the other. And I said, I want terms and conditions met and they were met if I did not call off that very boycott IPOB would have been dead by now they will say you know they call me boy they will say that boy doesn't listen to anybody We don't want anybody to fail and they will blame IPOB. That is how our people are. I understand them very well. I spent 15 years studying the psyche of an able man. 15 years. If we did not call it off, we will be dead by now as a movement. As simple as that. We wanted to. I go and get us an Ibrahim on your own. No, it's not a matter of time. If I ask our people to sit at home and they sit at home, and on one occasion they're asking me to do something and I refuse, if I ask them, they'll say no. That's how they are. We cannot afford to lose their goodwill. You are all Republicans. You paid. This is the first meeting I have ever seen. Well attended. The hall is full. And they actually paid to come in. Yes. I've not heard it before. I'm telling you, I'm honest with you. It's not happened before. Another. I am being honest with you. It has never, ever happened before. Will you be here if you don't follow this message which I preach? No. Did anybody force you to come? No. No. That is how we are. Anything I'm doing from today onwards, I will take the views of all of you here into account before I do it. Oh! Because I'm not doing it for myself. There are some things you can see which I cannot see. You know, when elders keep calling you, calling you, calling you, one lot, I don't do, don't do, don't do. And you say, no, I must do it. You know what they used to say to me? This was what Ujuku did that he failed. They will go to Obi and map on my eye. I say, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I listen to people. I, I keep saying it on Radio Biafra. If I hold a viewpoint and your argument is superior to mine, I will drop my own and I will take your own. <laughs> and in the fullness of time, three and a half years, you will understand that us calling off the boycott accelerated the coming of Biafra. Thank you very much. The next person is uh, Lawrence Onokuba.
IPOB Ohamadike, even my client. I mean, your legal team, Mona, if I hear you for, for two years, we've been battling it. From magistrate court to federal high court to appeal court to, to ECOWAS court, we are still there and we will get justice. But my question this evening is, you made mention of we lobbying our MPs for those of us that are in Canada here. And I want to know, because I believe this is a movement, we have to utilize help from everywhere. What efforts can we make to get people into that government? I don't want to call zoo or anywhere, but to get people into that government that we can work from, from within. If we have enough senators, enough House of Reps, even we can lobby and have governors, I think and I believe they will work from inside while we work from outside exactly. and we will get to where we are exactly. going faster. Thank you. Thank you, Barrister. I'm also very happy with your question because it ties in with the last one our brother asked. We wanted to prove to people that your PVC is useless. It is. Also, the moment, the reason why Ibazo is still there is because IPOB is against him. So, I was, I, Fulani Ainek decided they must put him there. That's the way it goes. When we boycotted Anambra elections, less than 3% voted. They wrote the figures and said it is, uh, is it 28 percent or so. Buhari got three percent of the vote in Abia State in 2015. Jubril got 28 percent. Is that possible? Impossible. The zoo is terrible. Nothing works inside the zoo. If you trust your PVC, it they will just wait for you. You go and do all your campaign, do your voting. They quietly sit down with their intellectuals, the professors, the VCs, and they falsify the figures. And they give it to whoever they like. That's what they do. The same person that you are going to vote in, once they get wind of it, that person has already failed. Or you'll be disqualified. And that's the end of you. You can't do anything about it. Uh, that is why we say we must destroy the system and build Biafra because there's no hope in it. Thank you. The next person is Theo Wong. Thank you. Uh, I have two questions. The first one has actually been answered, and that has to do with uh, the elections. And uh, because we are wondering when you made that statement about they have agreed to our request, and I uh, uh, wanted to highlight those two words, they and agreement. I was going to ask who are the they and what was the agreement? Uh, the second question has to do with the membership of IPOP. Right here in Canada, we have so many Igbo organizations. Let me just say that. And these organizations are not automatically members of IPOP. IPOP is a separate organization and individuals are supposed to register individually into this organization. Is there a way that we can change that dynamic whereby the membership of IPOP is made easier for group organizations. And we have done that before with some of these organizations whereby we have a kind of group membership and affiliation because the people we are looking at here are not just IPOP. You know, understand that. IPOP don't even from, you know, a quarter of the people here. So how can we increase the membership to include almost every Igbo person or every Biafra? Thank you. First of all, 
there is an agreement and at the right time as I keep saying because you know me I don't lie now my class I don't have any need for it I release it but I don't want to compromise on you but that's what is happening now inside the zoo there are some things I can you have to forgive me there are some things I cannot make public right. right. it's classified information for now but it will be released I assure you Hold it against me if I don't, but I will at the right time. Regarding membership, I stand to correct you that we are all IPOB. Everybody is. Everybody is an indigenous person of Biafra. Collectively, we are indigenous people of so you earn automatic entry into IPOB. But the thing is that there are some things you have to go through when you come into the movement. What it means is that there is this body of nation called IPOB, which a group of people are pushing forward, piloting a movement towards freedom. If you want to leave the crowd and come and be one of those at the front, pulling everybody together, it takes something. You have to be on that oath. And let me tell you what the oath does. You will not betray us. That is number one. If not for the oath we are under in IPOB, by now our enemies would have destroyed us completely. I'm telling you. But arrest after arrest, killing after killing, we are still marching forward. Because we are under sacred oath to restore Biafra, or we die restoring Biafra. Anybody, let me put it this way anybody who doesn't want to come forward to join IBOB, I have reason to question that person's parentage. Amanda is <laughs> Thank you. Um, the coordinator of Montreal just informed me they'll be driving all the way back to Montreal and up to 15 of them. And so we're looking at time also. Uh, the number of questions we could take, they think it's rude working out on the uh, uh, So, um, just bear that in mind. So one of the ways you can help us is ask a question. We just one question, not multiple questions. Um, at some point, we will have to review the number of people. Um, but for now, I'm going to call on Kenny. He's the proprietor of GBKMFN, a radio station here, to ask his question. He's also a media man. Thank you very much. It's a privilege to be in this gathering today. I've learned a lot. Uh, my question, I'm going to be brief. If given the opportunity, will you be willing to sit with Nigeria on the round table for a peaceful discussion, given what the, uh, the Biafra has gone through? Thank you. As long as that discussion is to agree where the boundaries will be, then I'm open to it. <laughs> um, next person is Tina Take. One family. Good afternoon, sir. I'm so privileged to see you today physically. Uh, my name is Tina Takem, and I'm from uh, English Cameroon. Wow. 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 But I say, I'm an Amazonian. Wow. 
Sir, may you live long Amen. and may Biafra have their independence. Amen. I want to say that from a very young age, I remember my grandfather telling me that during the Biafra war, a lot of evil people came into English Cameroon, Ambazonia, and we were by their side. In fact, I grew up, went to school, I have Igbo classmates, we have Igbo market, we have Igbo quarter. My question that is pushing me to talk to you today, sir, when our leaders came to Nigeria to plan, because we realized that all the democracy from these white people is fake democracy. So we decided to take our destiny by force, because independence, you cannot wait for people to give you independence. You take it by force. That is what we are doing right now. And our own Zulu, stupid, I don't know how to qualify him, animal of a president, he's on his knees. Because even the most little children know their identity. They are happy to tell you at any second of the day, I am an Ambazonian. I am no longer a Cameroonian. That is what I am missing in our Biafran community. Most of us seated here, in this country, we have used IPOB to take our something. To collect our something in our pocket. It's IPOB. But when you call for a meeting, they are not here. So, as an African, I am feeling like we are losing it. Mr. Wari, no, no, Mr. Jibri, what? I don't know. This Fulani, Ziausa. He had the audacity to catch our leaders and send them back into Cameroon. So what are you thinking? What are you thinking about Amazonia? I, 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 sometimes I think, I want to know your thoughts, sir. I want to know your thoughts because I know that you are in this field for a long time. I think the first thing we need to do, right from home, because from Canada on the TV, I can watch your, 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 your speeches, I can be inspired, I know who I am, I know what I stand for. But what are we teaching the new children at home? I think we should start by telling these children who they are, because I think the media has brainwashed them to forget that these are Biafra children. Biafra has suffered a lot. You people have lost a lot. To even have a lukewarm attitude, we need to take the independence by force. That is my opinion. Do I need to respond to that? I think it's very clear, isn't it? I'm actually very happy. Maybe I should um, take permission from my wife to take her with me wherever I go. So she'll be speaking to people. When I go, she will talk to our people. We don't know the meaning of freedom. We don't understand it. We think because we fought a war and lost, because of that we should be slaves forever. That was the attitude of the slaves they brought to this part of the world. That is the reason why a black African is the only domesticated animal in the history of humanity. It's the truth. You may not like it, but it's the truth. Only an African man allowed himself to be trained like a farm animal because he lacked dignity and honor to appreciate that some things are better than life itself. My dear sister, I am part and parcel of the Ambazonian movement all the way from London. I have spoken to some of your leaders, but um, I'm going to do a program in Chicago and a lot to be revealed. Somebody mentioned uh, Niger Delta South South. They went and duped the Ambazonians took money from them and did nothing. I was expecting them to rise up and campaign for the release of the leaders of Ambazonia when Zhu captured them. The mistake that they made from Ambazonia was to travel to the northern part of the zoo. They should have come to Biafra land. 
where protection would have been provided for them. I have spoken to their leaders, as I said, and they are part and parcel of what we are trying to accomplish. That nations must emerge from the colonial con contraptions built by the Europeans. Because some of you don't know one simple logic. When I give you a name, I control you. That was why Muhammad Ali changed his name from Cassius Clay to Muhammad Ali. Most of the very conscious African Americans, when they were freed as slaves, took up African names or took up not African names, but um, should I say Islamic names. The fact that a white man created Nigeria, listen carefully, makes you his property forever and ever. As long as you preserve that name, Nigerian, you are lower than an animal. Simple logic, common sense. Look at India. After their independence, they changed the names of their cities to what they know it to be. You're telling me that a white man can come from Europe, go to Africa and say, you, 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 from today, your name is Nigeria. And you stupidly and foolishly stand up to say, I am a proud Nigerian. There's something wrong with your brain. <laughs> half of Yoruba people are in Benedictus. I said half. Yoruba can make a very strong nation. A Yoruba and a Luduwa nation. Why are you fighting and dying for the boundaries drawn by a white man? I'm asking black people. That shows you're inferior. And that is what Biafra has come to change. They may not like it, but it is going to happen. Biafra is going to be free. And Ambazonia will be free as well. My apologies to Ikech Kundich here. Actually, it was an oversight. Uh, can you please come and ask your question? I want to know what you are doing to tell some of our youths to tone down their voices on social media. We have some genuine Yoruba people who really want us to have our independence. But some of our youth are very, very vulgar. They will attack you when you ask them simple questions. They will insult you. I have nieces that are Yoruba. My senior sister is married to a German. I could not see myself insulting. We, we should play, apply what is called diplomatic, intellectual debates. Fight with Yoruba intellectually, not being insulted. I've seen two Yoruba here that are supporting our cause. What are you doing to tell our youth to take it easy? After very good question. Very good question. If you see what the bombarding is, there. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive since. Mm. We have a genuine Yoruba. I I family. That is impressive. I am impressed. I have to okay. say that maybe they learned it from me. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Because we confront fire with even a bigger fire. We know there are good Yoruba people. 
I have not said this in public before, but I will say it today here in Canada because you are a distinguished audience. I must say. IPOB attended the last birthday of Pa Aya Debanjo, and we gave him a gift. We acknowledge genuine Yoruba leaders who are consistent. Consistency. We banter sometimes. You know, when Yoruba, some of them say we are Biafra, you don't expect them to be quiet. They go after them. And I hope that one day we'll be very good neighbors with the Yorubas. Because we have a lot to share together in Oduduwa and also in Biafra, but not in Nigeria. Are you following me? Yes, not in Nigeria. You know, in the Bible, Abraham said to Lot, we are of the same blood. But your goat is eating the grass of my sheep. <laughs> and my cow is eating the grass of your other little cow. So to avoid problem, eh? you take right or you take left, let me go the other way. Isn't it? FFK is my is my in-law. Ayo Fayoshe is a darling of Biafra. If you ask me, they will tell you. But this IPOB has been trained to be vicious. Because we don't know where our enemies are coming from. So the best form of defense is to attack. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, please, Dr. Emmanuel Anoche here, please. Dr. Emmanuel Anoche. I understand clearly that the House of Fulani did not defeat the uh, through the Convention of War. But, and that was why they invented divisive means. And that was what we watched the defeated here. And we call it Sabotor. Now, they have started again to use that system to fight their food by dividing us. My question is this, what are you doing or what are we doing to unite each and every group here in group? Because I know that there are many and through what I am seeing in social media, I don't think there is unity among them. So my question is, what are we doing to unite them? Because we are fighting a common enemy, and when we are united to fight this common enemy, within a couple of weeks, they are defeated. Thank you. Thank you. He said there are many pro Biafra groups. And I'm sure by next week, maybe we might have another four join the existing ranks. There is something that is wrong with us, which we must cure ourselves of. You know, we come from a very competitive culture. Where if I hear that you're in car importing business, I join. Is that correct? 
So when people come and say they are praying for Nam the Kano future and for for IPOB, there are people who want people to also pray for them. Huh? And if by starting a pro Biafra group is the way to accomplish that, then so be it. What is the motive of these people? Where are we going to stop? You have four people drinking in a beer panel. They contribute money, maybe 4,600 naira. They see a journalist with bathroom slippers working. You know, they don't pay them. And you call the journalist and you, out of the 4,500, you give him 4,000. Say, please write press statement. We are calling for this and we are calling for that. Our name is Biafra Liberation Council. And they write. And then you think there is a new pro Biafra group. Also for Manhattan, no? Four. Four people. Are you following what I'm saying? Everybody is important, yes. But IPOB is spiritual. Super. We are uncompromisable. Can you live with that discipline? That is the issue. We don't want you to come in as some people have done. I mentioned their names on Radio Biafra and the next day they receive uh, a lot. As a type of rubbish. That's why I don't praise people anymore. Because I pay somebody and they go and collect money start to talk nonsense. There are no pro Biafra. There's a bunch of people online with fake accounts talking rubbish. If you say you're a pro Biafra group, who is your leader? Let that leader come to Canada. Let me see people will pay to see him or her. Are you following what I'm saying? If you're a pro Biafra group, what have you done? Is it pro Biafra on Facebook? How is it pro Biafra on Facebook? We are dying on the ground. We are fighting for any hate men. On the ground. What have you done? As a pro Biafra group, I ask. If not to be informant to the zoo. That is why we are formidable. That is why we are unbreakable. IPOP is unbreakable. When we say one family, we mean it. IPOB! One family! I don't know whether people uh, read Obasanjo's statement. He said that Nigeria is being fulanized and Islamized. But he did say something. He said the only people, the only people that are prepared and seem to be safe is the Eastern Nigeria. And why is that? And why is that? Because we have soldiers on the ground. You people don't know what we do. But every vigilante is less with IPOB people. And when they finally see, come to any community, there are people there waiting for them. So we are protecting you. Oh. The next person is Etel Obi Ezekiah. Etel Obi Ezekiah. IPOB. IPOB. I am privileged to see you in person today at our Madike. Chukwo Kiki Abiyama, Gechebagi, Gebugi. Nini lae na alo, Chukwo Kiki Abiyama, Genyaye, Ikikre, Ije Merite, Irai. One love. My question this evening is, like, the last uh, speaker said, the previous one, he said, we, are have, we have a lot of uh, saboteurs. And uh, my question is, we have all these governors in the East, 
what are we going to do to them so that this cause of Biafra will be achieved? Is uh, most of the governors that you have were planted by the Fulani Caliphate to serve them, and that move started since 1976. Mbappe was an aberration, they missed him and more good then. But you see, over the years, they managed to get more good as well. Only Mbappé stood very firm till his death, which is why we shall always honor him. Mbappé was a good man. He fought in the Biafran War, if you don't know, and became a governor. You can see the love of his people flowing through him. All these chaps you are seeing, Hopus or Denma, 419 Lagos, Sudo Ocean and Lagos. You don't know that before? That is true. Or is it that I'm a robber, highway robber in Benin? These are the people they are bringing for you to be your governors. If he wants to be governor, I can take him to the north. He will do rank and then lie down for one smelly idiot. Illiterate. And they And they will say he's an evil leader. You know, that's how the leaders emerge. Okoro Kumeme, red cap. And with uh, a walking stick and like, on a body benin. And he, there you have an evil leader. When Fulani are attacking his village and you ask him, what do you have to say? He will say, we should not do anything to disturb the peace. <laughs> These governors, we are going to do to them exactly what Mossad did to Nazi officers. Go and read the textbooks, you see what happened to them. Yes. There will be no forgiveness. Yes. They can do every amount of stretchery and sabo they like. They can never stop Biafra from coming. And when Biafra comes, they will not only pay for it, their families will pay and there will be no pity. Yes. So, so you think they will kill us at some point? Massacre us in our bank, and then we forgive everybody like that. Cap nonsense. We won't forgive anybody. That's right. Ahabadike, the, the first time you came during your first missionary journey. There's a man called Uche Zuma, Uche Mami. He hosted you in, your, in his house and you broadcast for seven days. Uche is here today. You ask after him when we're in the hotel. You said, Where is my friend Uche? And he wants to ask you a question, Uche. You've been to Israel for a while. Just you might not share it with whatever you are not able to do. We know that you have a. We used to have a defense force. Is this the all? Because let me don't have anything to say. And they're uh, saying. Tiena no. Tiena no. Yeah. 
the are areas that, uh, that I wanted to I wanted to mention that they've been touched on the rest. Because you have people claiming to be evil leaders. They make all chances in Abuja and there's no repercussion. And what are we doing about that? And how are we going to checkmate these people? I want to give an answer. And uh, precisely this way. Thank you very much. Jay. Um, when I was in Canada last time, he kindly hosted me with his beautiful wife and children. I, and when I came into Canada, I asked after him. He knows I'm my guy, but I boy. I will answer your question this way. You know, Igbo men gossip a lot. It's the truth, I'm being honest with you. Igbo men gossip more than the women. <laughs> and, um, and that is why every meeting, every Igbo meeting in the world headed by a man, they have a faction inside it. They check all the women groups all over the world. They are one and intact. If our mothers were gossiping in 1929, they wouldn't afford the white man in our back. Because the men, I got a ban on cars, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, And I hope he has not fallen victim to gossip. <laughs> Come on, you can help people. Defense fund, defense fund. How many of you here paid defense fund? Yeah. Raise your hand up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point. They're asking defense fund. Nobody paid. Only few people. So people are asking me for defense fund in Canada. We are only one person paid. Actually, we are My brother, how much did you pay? I paid 350. Somebody here paid 450 euro. <laughs> Husband and the wife, 450 euro. I paid 350 euro. Okay. Who else? Right. Who else paid? Who else? Nobody. There's two people. Why are you asking defense fund? Gaga uh, Koyaka. That's the point. Oh, say it again. But if you are living about defense fund, you will think the whole world contributed. They asked me about our transmitter. Uche, my dear brother, he's an Omohan. And I told him about the transmitter, and today the transmitter is in Abuja with DSS. The reason why those that feed Uche gossip do that is because they want me to reveal the source of our strength that our enemies may know. So if I come here the way I would normally have behaved before, to say, oh, this is our defense fund, is in this account, is this much, then the zoo will not only look for it, they will calculate the amount of weapons we can buy with it. And they will buy four times that amount to wait for us. Simple common sense. I don't want to embarrass our people by telling the world how much is in the defense fund. He didn't to be honest with you. So it's embarrassing to actually say it. And all those people that gossip to you, ask them to produce their receipt with which they paid defense fund. The answer is zero. They never paid. Yeah. But because we love gossiping, we work in the book. And I call the book last Do you know why they ask you about defense fund? Do you know why? They want to discourage you from contributing towards IPOB. If they poison your money, you stop contributing, this movement will collapse. 
And then they will say, oh, we told you. They cannot get you Biafra. But I know them very well. Because if you mess up in IPOB, I will dismiss you. Never to come back. I asked him a for two weeks and I think three and a half days. I think it's about two weeks. Or oh, eight days, go on, I'm asked. Actually, it's eight days. Oh, no. <laughs> the same people that leaked, stole my phone and published the video of me and my beautiful wife, thinking that people will hate me. People then started posting pictures of themselves and their wives and they run away. Stop listening to gossip. And where Google I can gossip is for people without plan and without any project. We are IPOB. Anything I say I'm going to do, I do it. Do you think Israel will take me seriously if I come out to say to the world we have XYZ amount of money in our defense fund? Huh? Do you know how many award cars that uh, Canada has? I'm on vehicle. Do you know? No, do you know? I'm on cars and you don't even know how much, but you want me to tell you how much you have in the first form. Oh no, what's it? It's a very simple thing to pay. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. One family. The next person is Honorable Acho Humphrey. No, you have a great nowhere. Oh, uh, oh, well, uh, thank you, uh, as a chicken. Uh, it's a pleasure having you here, Prince Nandikano. Uh, you are a very smart student of history. I know that in every struggle, there are stages. So what is the stage of this struggle at this moment? And you know that the most powerful weapon in war is hunger. I just got back last night from my village and hunger is driving our people into the camp of our enemies. Oh my God. The youth, they are losing the steam of IPOP struggle because they are hungry. At this stage, I expect IPOP to start formulating economic policies that will not make our youth depend on the crumbs coming from these dirty governors. I expect at this moment that IPOP will be doing what we're doing before the Biafran War, refining our oils, having a robust healthcare system. At this time, I would also like to suggest, let us bring back pearls by moonlight. The younger generation, they do not understand much about what you're doing. Let us bring back pearls by moonlight before they go to bed. We'll read them stories, we'll get around the uh, fire and tell them what you are doing. This is how this struggle will go to the next level and we'll get to where we're going. Thank you. He said that people are hungry and what are we doing about it? My dear brother, welcome your question, by the way. I went to Israel. As part of the negotiations and discussions with certain people in Israel, we are arranging to get our people, our young people, meaningfully employed back home by becoming the food basket of not just Biafra land or the wider zoo that our neighbors, but all of West Africa. I went to Israel and I negotiated. I came on radio and announced it. Now we need farmland to start doing some very wonderful things. You know what they did? For those asking me about defense fund. Ordinary agriculture. 
Not the first one, though. I'm like, I'm going to go to get a plant. Tomatoes. I'm going to go to all these little, little things. Okay, see, as we went and visited the Israeli. Yes, um, okay, Z Bazo went to Israel. That's terrorist. When you can partner with Abia, are you listening? Yes, because any announcement I make in the public, the zoo will send one of their idiots to go and walk against it. That is why we don't announce everything in public anymore. Understand this very well. And since that time, the Red Desi also went to the Israeli embassy. Has anything happened and happened? It's just to spoil it. Oh my goodness. He asked me the phase we are in right now. And I call it the phase of gathering. Not in the Pentecostal church sense, please. This very seed that was planted in 2012, 13, 14, 15, through my incarceration and all we've been through, now we are gathering people together to assign roles and duties to go into that next phase. If we can get people here in this hall to lobby, to protest, to rally, to disturb the authorities in this very Canada, then we would have gone a long way. But if you do nothing here, nothing is going to happen. I understand this very well. And regarding Tales by Moonlight, I'm sure that if we're running around the fire and discussing, Dave Umahi will send the army to go and kill everyone. That's the problem. Then we have to take care of their kids, or even the kids, we have to bury them, we have to take care of everybody, and it costs money. And then somebody will come on air and ask me, all that dues we are paying, what are we doing with it? That now that people are in prison, nobody is asking me how we're going to bring them out. Nobody is asking me how do we sustain age of four and his crew to do their work. I do the next person is uh, Anna Yo Okore. Are you here? IPOB, IPOB, every one of us here today, if I'm speaking the minds of everybody, admire you, keep on fighting, they are behind you. My question is this. Uh, during your incarceration in Mexico, and uh, let me make this clear, the fear of Nam the Kalo Kano is the beginning of wisdom for Buhari. Buhari went or well, Buhari there went on his knees. I believe there must have been some efforts to meet with you because I tell you they were scared and they are still scared was there at any point and this is a follow up to a question somebody asked before about negotiation was there at any point that you know the Buhari or his agents uh, met with you and if they did were their conditions that they gave you, that you refused. Very straightforward question. Thank you. Yes, on various occasions, they sent people to me. And 
I said before I speak to them, I get also given my conditions, in which I know they couldn't meet. It's not possible for them to meet it. And I did it deliberately. I didn't want to speak to them. They sent all Jews or Carol to come to me, first to my parents. My father said no. My mother said no. That where I stand is where they stand in life or in death. And, um, they came to prison. I was from, even from DSS uh, dungeon. The promises came. The vice president, anything you want. If you have a very beautiful wife, you better go and enjoy her than being in prison. Wow. Anything you want. And I said, no. But what I want is a referendum to determine if you good people want to be part of the zoo or part of Nigeria or part of Biafra. Choose one, zoo or Biafra. They said no. And I see Bajo tried to make contact. When I came out, I don't know if I've told this story before actually. And uh, I hijacked it. I went to see Mia Ward in his house. We sat down, had lunch together. And I told him what my conditions were to lift the boycott in a number of states which they couldn't meet. And I said to Ward very simply, go to Abuja and tell these people that these are what our people are asking for. I said to him, go and bring us something. Not for me, for everybody. He went there and started negotiating for a ministerial position My for one of his children. I'm telling you what I'm telling you is fact, ask him. Somebody asked him, but you people are being called to Asorok because of Onam the Kano. Why didn't you tell him that you're going to Asorok? He said it is for Igbo leaders. And, and once the powers that be knew that he hadn't IPOB support, they just gave them five million naira for transport and dismissed them. Oh my goodness. Hadn't near would remain with me. When the governors called me, I told them the same thing in front of Professor Ben Wabese. They said, oh, but Wodo, Soludo, Premad is upstairs. Do, 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 they, do I want them to come? I said, no. Government has said, The former DSS director came with his bags of money in euros, in white sacks to bribe. Ask anybody working in the government house in the moon. I said, no, I don't want to see them. Not because I want to be the only cock growing, no. Because of consistency. Can you last? When you are tempted, are you going to succumb? Can you sustain this very effort we are making? So they have come. And I gave them my conditions which they can never meet. Open Wari Seaport, Open Iwacha Seaport, Open Calabar Seaport. Make any good international airport where we can fly to US and come in at will. Build the Gwacha Enugu on Echa Enugu Express Road. Complete second Niger Bridge. Are these things difficult? No. no. As I'm telling you, this go and ask them in Asarok if your friends there. They have the piece of paper I gave to them. They ran away. Because some Igbo men were busy gossiping saying if you allow him when he finishes fighting nigeria he will come here and fight us and kill all of us oh that's God. what they said and you know what other thing they said they told every even billionaire around the world that nobody should give me one time ask them that if you give a man the kind of money he will go and buy weapons that nobody should give me anything That we are here by the grace of Elohim, not by any of our strength, to be honest with you. Any day we are serious, the world will know.
how do you want Canada to regard the Biafra referendum or even USA? The people that the ambassador knows are the governors, or maybe Ohanese. Uh, Did you people not hear that British government went to Biafra land when I was in prison? Oh my goodness. The British High Commissioner was storing everywhere. When they wanted to kill me, went to be of on it and asked him, what do we do to numb the canoe? That one said you can kill him if you want. Mumahi mwekezi bazo mani ya mwodo. Ukuasi, ukuasi, ukuasi ka obo. Nka ndiji asine rinni. Ebala ndi fula ni odibo. Nchi u usuto unji isi nubode Nigeria. Ombe mno nuli hiko ni kangeti nye hanaka kuko. Siha agahame mezi biafro ozo. Unu biaka mba ulu unu odibo. Kandi ozo sabara hu odibo. Hali ura mjo. Nisina gama hapo ungono wana nazo. Kweni hindi ya nini makode manke hawa na nkomo ha Mankomo mu hagabia Nini nagwa na mhoku msiha Oke mbezi kana agwazi ike mbono ezi kana kogwa razi ike siya Nebe na gano zaade ya Onye fisi paka paka mba O wan Nigeria Kaigani hu kaigani hu Le kwa nodwa nyino bote nketa Na kogwa kwa randi ya singa Inya ziki mre mbo mbo Tinya nyino mea ino ni mea no bote nketa Oku hinu wane eme Kedo za wana namde kane sine mea ne mejuya Unu kwa wana mkamugota Na mse Muna anoge Ogwe Nkabwa Gafre River Niger Nunu gano uporuzo Unu gemezi ebe nini Ebu mwaka na gaku kwa Oge mezi emezi o mamma Ulo obo Aga anuzi ya anuzi Aga mwoko Mwini gana abwa Oga dronyi hunama Dronyi aso nama Kedu Uzo msi mejon didi etuwa Asim nozo nsi ne miyana odege mma Njoo hansi ya mbungu aga Uwonye mbarebe Uwonye mburuma Uwenye mbarota. Akwa so su yuzi yoma chine ke sembasa ni igwe kukana nabasa. Ke ziye kosi metutu unu. Obogeni mre. Unu wana ase kakota na mde kanu ke uwe ya uwe ohaneze na ndi governor. Okwa nigini mre ndi headsman ndi busi ndi madu nugu hawosa. Ndi governor hanugu hawosa kwa weke ada busi ya. Inu wana nugu. No wanyi na chugu hawosa governor. Pota ase ke busi ya ndi headsman. Una nugu gono wanyi yoruba pota ase ke busi ya ndi OPC. O wuna soso ndi ibo. Ni hinunu na abwa leka leka kunu ga abwa randi fula ni odibo. Onye poto seka abwa randi fula ni odibo. Onye poto seka abwa randi fula ni odibo. Mwa wana mde kana gama abwa randi fula ni odibo. Ha wana wako seba randi fula ni odibo. Onye nesi na mwona. Ha ganu gwa wosa. Nde hana apolisi na ala. Na ajin hana. Oh unu neba. Na mde kana wapata kano bochi yone. Unu hapi wana apari ebe nine. E gane nye nye kuyo zo. Onye hana utri mbubia. Or Ghana BBC, but not Kora. Eh, I come so quiet. I can go. Oh, what will go on? Won't you see me? I stay to you. A gawam no way can diago, but they can subuzu, Nigeria, they see my little nap, pam, pam, pano, budogi, a magia basaya. Mongoni nesi bamburu. A quebec as if as a gabuga and a government has done a zinam. Hanekri, now mamma. Oh, her room in the honey, listen to Fulani. Jen and the Fulani can hananya. Uwe na ajona si gine meno haneze nubo chinketa. Akwa ufu jubri la hana abado odibo. Hana achurefi. Akwa kwa ufu jubri la. Beri buya biati sa o haneze. Tiwa ya oza abo. Ya huna ni yanu. Ongwe loto o ga abo. Magi. Maha ngwe di ke da koto ono. Ka kwa ya hafu ma ngwe. Baka ngwe ngwe koreta. Oto age si gani hu. Aga. Inye ne meno ndiba anyo wana. Hana ya kote chinyan yine mo hafu ma. Ijo ha ha sinam chori ike wapo. Biafra ni me Nigeria. No wugi hezirezi. Ni wo bodo ha akwa dogi ya. Na ajo ha siya ke uzo ni chori isi imi ya. Ha sinam waka aga mentu liya ke ilu. Anye bianye chaka. Ato cha votu. Aga na weba ne miwu. Anoro apaya. Ekwe koreta. Anega wani ilu. Njo ha. Ndi ne mi wo bodo Nigeria madu lesi kanu state to potak. Iri ano na ano. 44. Obo madho le ne me kweni uwa si. Abya. Imo. Na bayo sa pota. Heruri. Soso kanu state. Obo zuzo di anga ki ige si we mweti nha. Ibu nobi. Ebe. Ndiyo wanyi na hana awo. No chile wala garaba chuzo no chebe ni ina. Efa adege. Oza adege. Oberi yunu kwe sinu unanaga anu ya. Wanta kri nye wu, owe, owe nkete, 
ebe na ebute mmanu na ebute ukuru oku ike ana ebupu na ekpata ego beke we na eri ndu ga osaji na leto wa hamma wona ba ni ko sije opo lo zon ketu na manu oni cha ru enugu ke si hio si na kowaram obu gini ki meputa woro ge me ngeji we nwen tu kwasi obi ebe ino ni hi na epu ni ge me nwu ya na owe ezi oku ihe ipo bi na maka nu ku isi ka ina bi Ha ya <laughs> I got up on all my way and come away, got an easy oak, me, and you could be easy oak. Has room to work a busy oak. Has room to work a busy oak, my brother, and Hannah, who so well had it. Come, Hannah, no quasi. Now, brand the full and new deeper, a father. welcome to my channel if this is your first time or first day of coming across my youtube channel or seeing my face you are highly welcome please be comments to my next canal my name is linda chukwezi it comment as me that red button that says subscribe and you turn on the notification bell so that you'll be able to get information okay. on the bis video. zum nächsten video und einen schönen tag tschüss, tschüss. bis mein yes, subscribe to linda's tv show what are you waiting for click on that red button that says subscribe you turn on the notification bell so that you'll be getting more updates from me leave your, your comments down below and share this video with your friends families and colleagues until we meet again in my next video bye bye